it's uh, 0959, just going on 10 o'clock. Um, at this time in 2001, the, the, uh, the first tower fell. Um, kind of hits home, you know, beautiful day just like this. Uh, something really horrible was going on and uh, everybody was waking up to a new world. Uh, thank you all for coming. And if you can't hear me, come closer, please. I promise uh, I, I brushed my teeth, my breath's okay, and everything's good. It's my honor to continue the tradition of uh, remembering 9-11 and, and everyone's sacrifice and service that day. And it's in my honor to celebrate the conduct of our country and our fellow citizens in the days that came afterwards. Um, every year, I've kind of spoken to to um, the need to be worthy of their sacrifice, to be worthy of everything that they gave us and the things that they gave up. And when we have an opportunity to behave a little bit better or do the hard thing and make our community better, to do that work, um, it, it's our way of honoring what they did and honoring their memory. But one of the things I keep on getting stuck on and every time we hire somebody new, is I realized I have people behind me that uh, are too young to remember that day, or weren't perhaps even weren't even born that day. And then it brings me back to when I was a child and uh, being the son of a, a World War II vet, and he kept on telling the story, telling the story about December 7th, and remembering and remembering, and he passed on his his expectation for our country. He didn't say it that way, but. That's the message I received. You serve. You serve your community as best you can. You serve by doing the right thing when nobody's looking. And you serve by making your town better. And that's what he, what he communicated to me. So maybe today, the call isn't to, is to try and elevate our game and be worthy of their sacrifice. Maybe the call is to help communicate what we expect of our next generation. And the hopes that they can continue on meeting, meeting the standard that we have set continue to serve, continue to, to value what, what, what it means to be an American without having to experience the things that we've experienced, having to go through a 9-11, without having to go through a, a December 7th, these, these horrible incidents that defined our nation. Um, that's, that's what I ask of you today. Honor their memory by paying it forward, by bringing up our next generation the right, right way, communicating what we expect of them, communicating what the right way to honor everybody that's sacrificed before them. Thank you. I'm gonna call forward Lieutenant Sylvia. We have a, a bell, a ceremonial bell here at Lakeville Fire Department. In the days before um, radios and, and telephones and, and all, the, uh, all the technology, firefighters communicated by telegraph between stations. That's how they transmitted alarms. That's how they they gave you an address of an incident. And they had one signal that was four sets of five bells. And that meant that um, somebody was lost in the line of duty, somebody had died. So in memory of our lost first responders, the lost uh, EMS providers, firefighters, police officers, uh, everybody who, who um, passed that day will now ring the bells.
Select Board Chair uh, Lorraine Carboni could not be here today. Uh, she had uh, called to a, a professional um, obligation, and uh, she wanted me to pass on her apologies for not being able to attend. Uh, she's been attending every one of these ceremonies for, for as long as I've been here, and and I uh, and I, I, I appreciated her presence here. Um, if there's anybody in the group that wants to share some words or, or say a few words, they can, they're welcome to at this time. I don't want to make it about us. It's, this is a community event as well. Uh, I'd like to call for Officer Mello, um, our brothers and sisters in blue, uh, who, who we work with every day to protect all of you. Um, and it's a, a special relationship that we have. And, uh, it's, uh, they're, they're a great group to work with, and I'm glad that they have our back. Uh, the uh, Policeman's Prayer. Oh, almighty God, whose great power and eternal wisdom embraces the universe, watch over all policemen and law enforcement officers. Protect them from harm in the performance of their duty to stop crime, robberies, riots, and violence. We pray, help them keep our streets and homes safe day and night. We recommend them to your loving care because their duty is dangerous. Grant them your unending strength and courage in their daily assignments. Dear God, protect them, these brave men. Grant them your almighty protection. Unite them safely with their families after their duty has ended. Thank you very much. <coughs> Deputy Grant, can you uh, please come forward? This is called May They Not Be Forgotten, Author Unknown. Brother, when you weep for me, remember, it was meant to be. Lay me down, and when you leave, remember, I'll be on your sleeve. In every dark and choking hall, I'll be there as you slowly crawl. On every roof and driving snow, I'll hold your coat, and you will know. In cellars hot with searing heat, at windows where a gate you meet, in closets where young children hide, you know I'll be there at your side. The house from which I now respond is overstaffed with heroes gone. Men who answered one last bell did the job and did it well. As firemen, we understand that death's a card dealt in our hand, a card we hope we never play, but one we hold anyway. That card is something we ignore as we crawl across a weakened floor, for we know we're the only prayer for anyone that might be there. So remember as you wipe your tears the joy I knew throughout the years, as I did the job I loved to do. I pray that thought will see you through. Well done, thank you. Uh, Captain Dave DeBest will now, uh, he's a veteran member of the department, member of the Brockton Fire Department, Pipes and Drums. He'll be uh, playing Amazing Grace for us. Detail 10 hook. Present. <laughs>
detail. Order arms. Parade rest. This uh, brings our our ceremony to a close. Again, I want to really extend my appreciation. It's it's gratifying to see everybody here and to see how important observing um, the, the the sacrifice once again. Continuing our tradition, moving it forward, and, and like I said before, communicating to the next uh, generations um, what's important to us all. So I want to thank you, um, and uh, I hope you have a good day. And, and please take a few minutes uh, to stop and think about those who gave everything uh, 23 years ago today. Thank you.